Hubert van Innes was a great uh, Belgian archer. He won uh, Olympic medals at the 1900s Olympics in Paris and the 1920s Olympics in Antwerp. He was also a world champion in 1933. He also happens to be my great-great-grandfather. Archery in my family started back in the 1900s with Hubert and uh, Jérôme de Meyer, who was on the team in uh, the Olympics in 1920 in Antwerp. So they are two different sides of my family. My great-grandfather on my dad's side was uh, part of the FITA when it was first created. Then my granddad was a well, FITA judge at the time. Then my dad was on the Belgian team as well, as a recurve, and then later as a compound archer. And then on my mom's side of the family, my granddad was a world champion back in 1961, I think. In the end, my parents met through archery because of their parents, who met through their parents in archery. So it's, yeah, it's very cool to be all kind of related through archery. It is some kind of pressure to have such a big family history and, you know, so many achievements. But I think it's a different era. It's a different type of archery. I'm trying to do my own thing. You know, I'm trying to achieve everything I can. And, you know, I think everything I will achieve would make them proud. Hi, Dad. Hello. So, I'm here with World Archery. We're filming this. Uh, what can you tell me about uh, my great-great-grandfather? How well known was, you know, his Olympic achievement back then? Well, it was known all over Belgium and Europe, I suppose. And he was uh, very much uh, appreciated. And um, in his own... Uh, place in uh, Elevec, they even made a statue of him because they were so proud of uh, their Olympic and world champion. Yeah, I remember seeing that when I was a kid, so that's quite impressive. Yes, and it was just near the field where the, the popping jays, okay. where he was shooting when he was a tiny boy until, uh, until the nearly the end of his life because at 90 years he was still shooting with a bow. What is it like for you to have, you know, me shooting and you keeping on the legacy and then Noah starting now? Uh, how does that feel for you? Well, it's uh, very nice to see you shooting because you're uh, even higher than all the others archer of the family who were quite very good but you are the best after Hubert and uh, I'm uh, very proud of you because your achievements are so important for uh, for me and uh, yeah it's it's a uh, really a, a proudness to, to be uh, your father and uh, well the connection is uh, very uh, very high well I think he would be proud of us and what we achieved, you know. Yeah, I think so. Yes, I think archery is in my genes because, you know, it's not... I don't know how, how else I would have gone and picked up archery otherwise. I don't think, you know, their greatness has been, you know, flowing through my veins. But yeah, having, having all my family doing it makes it more special. It's going to be very tricky to do better than uh, Hubert did. But, you know, I think I've achieved more than anybody else in my family did. It's nice to have people who understand what you're doing and why you're doing it.